swapping out the pilot assembly Toyo Smith Pro Max. It's a 40 gallon water heater uh, from 2005, according to the label. Here's where the assembly mounts. This is your uh, pilot setup here. And this is where we're going to be doing most of our work, right down here. I want to say, first off, that this should always be done by a professional. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you could easily have a leak, destroy your house, blow up your water heater, leave this to the professionals, uh, only proceed if you're comfortable with what you're doing and you know what you're doing, you assume all responsibility uh, for trying to undertake this task. First thing you want to do is go ahead and shut the gas off just so you don't have any accidents. I'm going to take this little outer plate off. It just squeezes together. You can take off these bolts. You can disconnect your fittings up here uh, or just take these off. I'm going to go ahead and just take these off because i got this tool in my hand. Alright. Next thing we need to do is disconnect a few things up here. This is your uh, thermocouple. Uh, this, I believe this is your uh, fuel line for your pilot. And then this piece actually goes up to the uh, pilot spark. So each one of those is going to have to be disconnected. Uh, the best way to do that is get you in a little adjustable wrench or little baby pair of channel locks. Oh, and then we're also going to have to take this. This is your main uh, burner connection. That's what actually fuels and uh, and uh, heats your water. It's your, your main burner. So we have to disconnect that as well. Now we're not replacing that. Uh, that piece is going to uh, remain, uh, but you have to disconnect it to actually pull everything out. Finally, this piece here, this little cover will pull back, and then that connection just separates. This can be a little difficult to get out. You kind of have to work it through. There's actually a little back in here around this piece inside the heater. There's a little mounting bracket that's shaped like a U that this has to be lifted up out of in order for it to come out. Back. This piece, uh, this plate here, uh, can be a little difficult to get out of the opening. But you can work it around. Uh, you can get it to this point. And then this is your burner plate. This is what actually heats your water. And there's a slot at the top of this that is wide enough for that to slide through. Here's your uh, pilot assembly, these pieces here. Here's your, uh, your uh, gas, this is where your pilot flame comes out. And it, fl it uh, goes against, it burns against your thermocouple, which is right here. Uh, the thermocouple tells your water heater that the pilot is lit, um, so that it's not uh, spewing gas to the burner without a pilot lit um, because then obviously you would have a, a, a compartment full of gas and if there was a spark it could easily explode so it will not turn on the burner until the pilot has uh, has been lit this is your sparking uh, mechanism here so uh, at, if you push this button up on top it sends the spark to this piece which lights the pilot so as you hold down the pilot lighting button, uh, it will put gas through this. You hit this to send the spark. you got to hold it down for a little bit to heat up the thermocouple. 
uh, and then once you let it go it should stay lit and then once you turn it to the on position it will light the burner and you'll have flame that comes out all the way around this and that's what heats your water here's your pilot assembly I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so I don't forget there we go uh, turn it to the off position there when we turn it back on we'll go to the pilot uh, and then to the on position and I'll show you that uh, as I do it but let's go ahead and get this piece off uh, I've got a few screws to, do, uh, to take off this one here will release this piece and this one here uh, will release this bracket all right taking this last screw out and that releases the entirety of the pilot assembly here now we just need to take out a cover plate here uh, so that we can replace all of this now this piece uh, this little um, grommet, this little seal, in, uh, comes with the new uh, assembly. So you don't have to worry about saving that. If you have trouble getting it out uh, and you destroy it, not a problem if you buy uh, the same kit. Because it comes with a new, uh, a new piece. So I think what I'm going to do with this, since the new uh, assembly has one with it, is um, I'm actually just going to use my razor knife and I'm just going to cut this uh, to the point where I can pull it uh, through one way or the other uh, through this piece here. So I'm going to do that. I need two hands to do it uh, and I'll come right back. So I actually started cutting this uh, and then it popped out. It's, it's softer than I thought it was originally. Uh, so it just pulled through. So I'm going to finish taking this out, put all of these pieces in the hole here, and that's it. There's the old assembly. Um, I will tell you, this piece here, I believe, was, my, was the issue I was having with mine. You see how it's loose, how this side of it... is not connected and I think that that's what was causing my problem um, I actually came out and pushed it back together uh, several days ago and it worked <clears throat> for another uh, what four or five days um, and so it, I, I got a little more time uh, before I had to replace mine, which was good because I couldn't get the part quick enough. Um, nobody had it locally and I did have to order it. Uh, but I, I was able to push this back together, get that connection solid again, and, uh, and it gave me a few more days before it finally died again. All right, let's get the new one in. Now I bought a, an assembly, I bought a pilot assembly off of Amazon, I'll actually link that in the description. Uh, it has everything you need, it has the brackets already built in, uh, it has a new gasket uh, for the door, um, and it has this thing uh, that is uh, additional, I guess, uh, coverage for under the water heater. I don't know that I'll actually use that uh, because it doesn't come with uh, the water heater. It probably is not needed. So I'm just going to replace the uh, the pilot assembly. Unroll, uh, unroll it. They come kind of rolled up. Unroll it carefully. You don't want to crimp any of this. And we're just going to feed these through this hole. get this rubber piece uh, into the opening. I'm going to get that in the position uh, and go ahead and get my screws put back in uh, to get these two pieces together. All right, got that in. This plate, make sure it goes on the bottom of the burner plate. Uh, the screw 
needs to go through the pilot plate first, the new plate, into the burner assembly plate because uh, the burner assembly plate is threaded. So uh, if yours, when you line this up, if it looks like it's going to sit on top of it, you might need to flex that a little bit so that it can go, uh, so that it can go underneath uh, this the, the mounting plate. All right, and that's really that's the replacement. So our, our next step is going to be to get everything put back in, uh, and then we'll have to hook up uh, all of these these pieces. Uh, so let's get that done. Before I get this back in, I'm going to show you. See that little piece there? This tube here uh, that carries all, it's your fuel line uh, for your burner. And that's going to sit in that little notch there. So as you're sliding this piece back in, uh, keep that in mind because you'll have to go in. This will have to kind of tilt up and then set right down into that little opening. All right, I got mine into position. Make sure your, your two bolts are in position and then you can start attaching your pieces. Now these do not require any sort of sealant because they are flared ends. Uh, so you just tighten them up uh, with your uh, adjustable wrench, or in my case with the chain locks there. Get them real tight, and uh, and that's it. You don't have to put any sort of sealant or anything like that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, my other fittings here and, uh, and get this ready to go. And then we'll get our bolts back on there and uh, connect our wire and we'll be ready to light this baby up. Got my thermocouple hooked up, my main fuel line, and then the uh, pilot fuel line. Now this one and this one both carry gas. So we want to make sure we don't have any leaks on either one of these pieces. Uh, to do that, you can buy uh, leak detector for gas lines or you can make your own with some dishwashing soap and some water and you uh, will spray that on these fittings once you get the gas uh, the gas turned back on you can spray that on these fittings and if you start seeing it bubble up you know, it'll blow bubbles so not just the regular soap uh, soap bubbles that are just kind of sitting there but if it has a leak if it has gas it'll actually you'll see the bubbles blow up pop blow up and pop and you'll definitely see that there's uh, a leak on one of the joints uh, if if you put this uh, this soap mixture on there um, but I've got these hooked up uh, let me finish tightening my bolts here These two pieces will connect, they just push together, and then this rubber piece will slide over the, in, the, the exposed metal. Alright, I have that connected. I'm going to turn our gas on. You want to do this slowly. Just ease it on. The next thing you're going to do uh, is turn this to pilot. Okay, when you push this down, like so, you release gas, you're bypassing basically the safety features, you're going to release gas through this tube into here, and then down through uh, this pilot hose here. Um, so you, when you do that, you want to push it, go ahead and start sparking this thing every few seconds just to make sure you don't end up with a bunch of gas down there without a light, without a flame. 
And as you can see, we've already got a flame there. So once you have a flame, hold it for a few more seconds and then you can release this and your pilot should stay burning. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this over to the on position that just spins around and I want to show you as I turn this you'll see uh, your burner assembly kick on. So here I go, I'm going to turn it on. And then if I turn it back to the pilot, the pilot light should stay lit. Turn it on, and it kicks on. You'll leave this in the on position. The final piece here, well, I guess technically this is the final piece. Put our outside piece back on. But I do want to spray these uh, fittings with my soap mixture. make sure we're not seeing any gas leaks and it looks like we're good all right I'm gonna use a little shop towel clean up around here put this piece back on that piece in there that piece on that side that's all there is to it it's a pretty simple uh, replacement a few things you got to be careful about but um, you know, it's, it's not that difficult to replace. Obviously, uh, make sure you're safe. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you uh, are careful with each one of those uh, gas connections. Make sure you check to make sure there's not a leak. Um, gas can be very dangerous. If it builds up uh, and then ignites, um, you know, it can, it can destroy your home. It can send the, the water heater through the roof. Um, so make sure that you are very cautious uh, when doing this. And like I said, um, best bet is leave it to the professionals. Um, once this thing's lit, you'll have a full tank of hot water uh, in about 30 minutes. It takes that long to, to heat that full tank. So enjoy your hot showers uh, in a little bit, and uh, I will as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like this video if it helped you out, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.